We are here with our 26 pumpkins. Our goal is going to be to blow these pumpkins up. Um, what we're going to do, we've carved some things, and I especially want to thank uh, Ms. McCray, Ms. Randall, a couple of the students that stayed yesterday to help us carve out 26 pumpkins. It was a lot of carving, and I think it's fair to say none of us probably want to see a pumpkin again until next year. But what we're going to do, we're going to create a chemical reaction inside these pumpkins. Now, I've got a solid chemical. It's little, little gray chunks, look like little pieces of gravel, but it's called calcium carbide. And I know uh, we're talking about uh, physical chemical properties, physical chemical changes with our fifth grade. I think some of the younger classes are talking about different states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. So we've got a solid chemical, kind of like this little piece of gravel here that we're putting inside the pumpkins. And I've got some volunteers here that are going to be pouring a liquid water into the pumpkin. When that water mixes with the calcium carbide, a chemical change is going to take place, a chemical reaction is going to take place, and it's going to make a gas called acetylene. Uh, it's a nice, flammable, explosive, highly dangerous, Ms. Burns, gas, uh, used for welding, used for things like that. But it's going to make a flammable gas inside the pumpkins. Now, we've got all the pieces in the pumpkins, so the pumpkins are going to fill up with gas. And when you light a flammable gas, what, what do you want to see happen to it? Yeah. You want to see an explosion. Yeah. So, if this works, if it works, we're going to create an explosion in the pumpkins. It's going to carve some letters, carve some faces out of the pumpkins. Um, if it doesn't work, hey, that's science. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have never seen anybody attempt this with this many pumpkins. We might just set it good. Two. The most I've seen anybody successfully do it with was six. We're doing it with 26. So, if it works, it works, but... Go big or go home. The way this works, we're going to have flammable gas in all the pumpkins, but what we've also done that you can't really see it from where you're sitting, but there's holes in the sides of the pumpkins connecting them. So when the explosion takes place in one pumpkin, the fire will go into the next pumpkin. Hopefully, this is where we get into the hopefully part, but hopefully light the gas in the next pumpkin, chaining all the way down through all the pumpkins. Ms. Burns is going to be lighting at one end on the top row. I'm going to be lighting at one end on the bottom row. And if all goes well, we're going to explode 26 pumpkins in about half a second. So keep your fingers crossed. If it, if it works, hey, listen, if it works, if it works, we're all going to cheer as loud as we can. And if it doesn't work, we're just going to give a big aww. Oh. So, so, we're going to get ready. We're going to try it. What I would like you to do, let me get my helpers around that are pouring water in the front, get in your spots again. Don't pour yet. We're all going to pour at the same time. Everybody pour at the same time. And get your water. Get water in each hand. And actually, CJ, if you want to come do it from the side right here, that's easier. All right, is, it? Yeah. is everybody ready? Okay, pour your water in three, two, one. Pour. Don't spill, Blair. Be very careful. Pour slow. Pour slow. Do not spill it. Um. I see a lot of water spilled. I hope we got enough in the pumpkins. Oh, we got another pumpkin. Once you're done, go ahead and move back around. Pour slow. It's okay. You don't have to pour it in there that fast. Just get it in Are they supposed to take the funnels out? Lighter got wet. I hope it's not going to light. It's metal. I mean, all right. All right. Let's get a countdown. We're going to light in five. Five.
solid, we mix it with a liquid to change it to a gas, and then use fire to create a chemical change, making a nice pumpkin explosion. Thank you all for coming out. Let's give all our helpers a hand.